if it ain't me That's for codeine When I piss I'm on in the morning, I can't forget You can't cry over scars, it's permanent I put a panic in traffic like Pablo Escobar I adapted immaculate, I'm going to scrap again yeah. Say my new tone, earth tone, I can't do wrong We take the weather, stick together like we from the group home You too What up man? Happy New Year Some of y'all aren't gonna watch this video until y'all wake up from y'all's hangover Some of y'all in the club right now Some of y'all on the west coast still in 2017 Some of y'all laid up right now Listen, man, let me know where y'all was at when I upload this video, man, down in the comments. I appreciate all the support and all the people that fucks with me in 2017. Y'all know I don't upload like that. I only give y'all videos that I feel like could be timeless and search for years and years to come, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on the gram and snap. Go in my channel. Get familiar with me and know that I do comparison and collection style videos. You know what I'm saying? This is the sixth collection style video that I've done. I literally take shoes out of my collection and turn them into, I feel like, relevant collection style videos. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this shit for y'all. No question. So I appreciate y'all watching. This is Street Tape Top 10 All Red Jordans. I'm also give y'all three honorable mentions. And I do that because I don't want to cheat y'all out of footage. You know what I'm saying? I want to cheat y'all out of showing y'all certain Jordans. So I will give you guys three honorable mentions before I start my top 10, man. Let's go ahead and get started. First honorable mention is your 2015 release Bulls over Broadway Jordan 10s. I feel like these joints were underrated. They set on shelves. Um, I do like the cement speckle type bottom on the bottom of these joints. They got your 30th anniversary tag or stamp on the insoles. Very, very dope shoe. Very underrated. Uh, you know, the quality is okay. But this definitely did not make it in my top 10. However, it is a underrated Jordan and I do like them. So I did throw them in my honorable mentions just for y'all, man. So I appreciate y'all watching. Next honorable mention, also a 2015 release, is your Chicago 23s. Now, first these joints came out in Chicago. They were supposedly a Chicago exclusive only, but no. Because I got mine from a foot action in Chicago. And folks thought they were going to sell out. They didn't. They didn't sell well at all. They kept sitting in there and they just stayed there. And when that happened, the hype kind of died on these joints. You know what I'm saying? And then they got put on Nike.com. And then they got put out to other retailers. They sat on Nike.com for a long period of time. You know what I mean? So everybody definitely had a chance to cop these joints. The gum bottom on here is dope. The whole Sha City on the side, dope. Like, very, very nice shoe, good detail. I pretty much have all Jordan 23s, so this was a no-brainer regardless, but these joints are dope. They're not making the top 10, but very, very underrated, dope, all red Jordan 23. And the last honorable mention is your 2017 Jordan 5 flight suits. These joints are very nice, still sitting on your shelves right now, I'm sure. They might even make it to outlets, who knows. Very, very dope shoe. Kind of a bright red all red everything some some black hits here and there very very dope shoe um i feel like that the red and the blue was needed for the jordan heads i think i mean i have the blue pair as well very very dope shoes man so definitely not in my top 10 but definitely dope ass jordan 5 no question all right man let's go ahead and start out with my top 10 all red jordans bro start this joint. Now starting at number 10, we have your 2015 released 11 Lab 4. Now when the Lab Series Jordans first came out, they were hype. Folks was copping them joints. They were selling out. But as Jordans kept making more and more of these joints, they started to kind of fall off. And folks really wasn't feeling them like that, man. But when the 11 Lab 4s dropped, the black and the red, I do have them both. They're very, very dope attention getting bright red ass shoes man has a leather insole leather interior like these are very very good quality on these joints and they took after the jordan 11 with the all patent leather look but kept that jordan 4 silhouette number 10 on my list all red everything literally and let's go ahead and hop over to number nine and number nine your 2012 released jordan 9 motorboat jones Yo, man, when these joints dropped in that Kilroy pack, 
Bro, these joints were the hypest, most popular one out of that Kilroy pack. I do have the entire Kilroy pack. I will be selling a couple of those pairs though. Um, I feel like the value on this shoe isn't holding up like they did when they first dropped. So you can pretty much find a pair at a good price. So if I'm bringing out shoes that y'all forgot about or didn't know about or, you know, I made y'all think about it again, let me know in the comments, man. I do, I do this shit for y'all, bro. But this is number nine on my list. All new buck upper. Got your black hits. Got your little basketball dude. Very, very dope shoe, man. And this is number nine on my list, man. Let's go ahead and go to the next joint. And number eight on the list, we have your 2014 Jordan 6 Biz Ikes. I feel like this shoe is underrated, a forgotten about type of shoe. I do like the green hits and the nice interior on this joint. Some good quality leather on here. This was a limited release. They did sell out, but now, three years later, you can find these at a very good black market price. So the price on these is very, very good now. So if I made you think about a certain shoe, let me know in the comments, man. That's what I'm here for. But these can be found at an affordable price. Very, very forgotten about Jordan 6. And I did cop every single Jordan 6 that dropped in 2014. It's just one of those. So this is number eight. Go ahead and go to the next joint. And at number seven, we got your 2014 released Jordan 14 Ferrari. Bruh, this is a beautiful shoe right here, man. The quality on this joint is fire. The whole yellow Ferrari symbol shaped jump man, fire. The midsole carbon fiber, fire. The little chrome type hits on the midsole and the bottoms. Just so dope, man. This is a beautiful shoe. Mine are still DS. I got these off of Nike.com when they dropped. Very, very hype shoe when it came out. I'm not quite sure how it's doing currently on the black market resale prices, man. But this is a very, very dope shoe. A lot of people's favorite Jordan 14. I mean, look at these joints, man. Just straight dope. Let's go ahead and rock to the next joint. And at number six, we got your 2014 release, Jordan 6 Infrared 23. These joints came out All-Star Weekend in New Orleans. That's where I was at. I went to Sneaker Con New Orleans at this time. These also came out with the whole gumbo pack at that time. Those are the LeBron 11s, the KD, etc., etc. Yeah, man. So this is your Infrared 23. These were pretty limited. Um, Very, very dope shoe. The uh, resale price on these joints was crazy back when they first came out and sold out. I'm not quite sure how they're doing now. I think the prices have come down a little bit, but not very much. Very, very beautiful shoe. Bright, vibrant, will definitely get your attention. Got that clear lace lock. Very, very dope shoe, man. Let me know if y'all cop these joints when these joints came out, man. The beautiful Jordan 6. Let's go to the next joint. And at number five, got your 2014 release, Jordan 6 Slam Dunk. Man, these joints right here is fire, man. I love that 3M reflective material on here. I love the clear lace lock. Like, these joints are fire. Super icy bottom on these joints. Nice detail with the whole cartoon theme going on. The box had dope details as well. Very, very limited shoe. The uh, resale price on these have dropped also, so you might be able to find it at a very, very affordable price. When these first dropped, the resale on these joints was crazy, but now that they've got a little bit older and folks don't really care like that anymore, the price have dropped. So, you know, y'all let me know in the comments if any of these shoes y'all forgot about and I made y'all think about it again, y'all gonna go try to, you know, cop a pair now. You know, let, let me know all that down in the comments, man. But this is number five. Let's move to number four, man. And at number four, we got your 2013 released, a lot of y'all's favorite, Jordan 4 Toro Bravo. It's very, very beautiful Jordan 4. The new bug on this thing is nice. Quality dope. They still smell great after all these years. Still got my sticks on the inside. It's still DS. Um, 2010 to 2014, I was a true reseller. I'm talking about I would go somewhere, spend four grand, make eight grand spend three grand make seven grand like I used to buy pairs upon pairs and was a heavy reseller within that time frame so just go to my Instagram and y'all can see some of the stuff that I've resold and had stacks and stacks of in the past man y'all can go there and check that out but this is another shoe that is sought after right now and the you know uh, resale value held up pretty well over the years versus some other shoes very very beautiful shoe man and a lot of y'all's favorite Jordan 4 bro 
these joints are fire. Now let's go to the top three. And at number three, we've got your 2010 release Jordan 3 Dornbecker. This also came back out again in 2013. I didn't cop those because I felt like it didn't look like the OG, which is this one right here, 2010 version. Very, very dope shoe. Mine is still DS seven years later. Still got the shoe strings hanging from these joints. Beautiful Dornbecker, no doubt. Got all of them reflective uppers on this joint. A very beautiful shoe, man. I think I'm gonna rock these to like a special event because I don't wanna, you know, not do them justice. You know, like maybe a sneaker con or something special because I think these are very, very dope and they mean a whole lot to me, bro. So go ahead and get to number two, number one, man. And at number two, we had your 2017 release, Jordan 11, all red joints. I remember back when Carmelo Anthony was pictured wearing these joints back in the day. The internet went crazy. Everybody wanted them joints. Only certain people had them joints. Very, very dope shoe. This did come out and was an extreme general release, so everybody got these joints. I'm sure your grandma on the couch right now rocking these. So despite the fact how GR these are, I love this shoe. Very, very good looking Jordan 11. I do have every single Jordan 11 high and low in men's size that has ever released except for the Jordan Blue Snake Skin from 01. So if anybody out there has Jordan 11 Blue Snake Skin Lows from 01, size 12, Hit me up, bro. No, like, for real. Call me. But, yeah, man, it's number two on my list. Beautiful shoe, man. Let me know if you don't have this shoe down in the comments. And finally, man, my number one all-red Jordan shoe, 2008 released Bravo 5. Bruh, these joints are fire, man. I remember back in 2008, I was at South DeKalb Mall in Atlanta. This pack was just sitting on shelves, so I went ahead and copped. Didn't even care at that point if things sat or not. I just saw it, I liked it, I copped it, you know what I'm saying? Little did I know years later this pack would be crazy sought after. The resale value on this shoe by itself and with the pack is insane. Very, very sought after Jordan 5. A lot of people's favorite Jordan 5 or Jordan in general. I do love this shoe right here, man. This is what started the, the whole all red craze for Jordans pretty much. This is what made the all red thing popular, you know what I'm saying? Because these joints pop, caught your attention, straight fire, man. So yeah, this is number one on my list. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite Jordans out of all these in this video. Give me y'all's top 10. Let me know everything down in the comments. Give me y'all's questions. Give me y'all's thoughts. Everything down in the comments, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on the gram and snap. Y'all have a happy new year. And I got more collection and comparison vids coming. Y'all already know that. You can't just say you real or something you gotta be. Just know, I'm not trying to be the biggest. I'm just trying to be the realest, man. Happy new year, y'all. Easy. This video is a comparison of your 2013 black gold all patent leather joints versus your non-complex kind exclusive top threes. This is the comparison of your 2007 release New Love versus your 2017 release Jordan 1 New Love. So back in 2007 your New Love came in a pack.